Alright guys, today I'm going to do a quick video on showing you how to figure out what a good hydraulic lifter on a Chevy 350 looks like. It would probably be the same for any lifter for any engine, and what a bad one looks like. Okay, so i got two hydraulic lifters here, both the exact same, and they look they're the exact same, they look the same, everything, they're out of the same engine, everything's all flat, and how you check to see if your lifter is good or not, you visually inspect it, and you take a lifter, the one you're checking, and you take another lifter, and you take the bottom part, this, uh, take the flat part right there, not this end, but the other end, and the other lifter, and you put it on it like that, and you see if it's flat. You're not supposed to be able to see any a crack in between it, like any daylight or anything. But this one here is good. It's flat and everything. Now this one I could, you can tell just by looking at it, it's bad. Don't know if you guys can see that, but it's pretty well uh pitted like it's in dents so i'll measure that up real quick see if you guys can see keeps wanting to roll My camera's not good enough to show you that, but just by looking at it, you can see it's pitted, and this lifter is bad. You do not want to reuse this one. And normally when you buy a new cam, a camshaft, you want to buy new lifters for it. You don't want to use the old ones, because even though they look good like this, um, they have the wear marks from that lifter or that cam and these actually sit there and they spin around and get like circle kind of um, grooves in it and it'll just it's like kind of like sandpaper and it'll shred apart that new cam so you always want to put new lifters in unless you're just fixing it to sell the car then who cares it's their fault for uh, buying a crappy car but yeah that's the difference between a bad lifter and a good lifter, and how to notice it on any engine. Alright? Comment, rate, subscribe. Talk to you guys later.